Our friends at AJA has been so kind to send us a KI Pro for integration with Skyhoy panel. So of course we did that and we decided that we wanted to try it with the Minifly. The Minifly is a little atypical for controlling a deck because it's a vision mixing surface. It has a, a cut auto button, for instance. It has also a fader, but it turns out the fader is great for actually uh, play speed control on the, uh, the KI Pro. So. Um, no harm done there, and it also goes to show how flexible your Skyhoy products really are, that you can reconfigure them. So, in fact, I brought both the uh, Quick Bar and also the Minifly here. They are doing the same things, but we'll start with the Minifly and look how it works with the recording deck. So, the first thing I want to show is we have a clip selection on state number one. So, we designed two states either clip selection or playback control. So in clip selection, we can use these buttons to move forth and back between the clips that we have uh, on the device. So you can see as I'm pressing the lower edge of this button, I am changing to a different clip. It happened right there, and I'm pressing it again to change to a different clip, and so forth. You can see which clip I'm at by using this display, and unfortunately the video is a little bit slow. I'll tell you why. It's because the video output from this one goes through a frame synchronizer that cleans up the video feed. So every time I change, it is losing the video signal. It is, it is, uh, it could change resolution really because this one could record in different resolutions. So it seems like it's a little bit slow. Don't uh, worry about that. Uh, it goes as quick as you see in this little uh, window. So there you see the clip name. And as I'm pressing these buttons, I'm moving forth and back clip uh, next and previous. In fact, we also did uh, what is so typical for our controllers. You can use four-way buttons to do this. So when I press the edge on this button, you see how I'm actually changing the clip name forth and back by using the four-way button. It really, truly is. Isn't that cool? Now, the shift key is enabled currently, uh, or oh, sorry, it was disabled, but if I enable the shift level here, which is a toggle key over here, then the KI Pro uh, Ultra will show its time code in this window. So let me just play back this clip, and you'll see the time code is moving nicely along as expected. Good, so that was clip selection basically. I now wanna move on to speed selection or playback selection. I'm a little tired of being inside a tunnel, so I wanna speed this up a little bit. And now I'm going at probably eight times the speed. Let's just stop. Let's uh, play again. Let's go backwards by two, four times. So this is two times backwards, four times backwards. Now let's go in the other direction. This is uh, probably normal play speed. This is two times forward and so forth. Now, in fact, what we also have is jog shuttling mode. So now we are here, let's go, just go to play speed. This fader we have made here is um, available for setting the play speed. So when it's in the top, it's now normal play speed, but you can see that I'm going to like, what is this? 60% play speed. I can go to super slow motion here in uh, that is 20, 30% play speed. And probably since it's so jagged, it could actually be because the recording I made of this train ride is uh, not in full frame rate. So don't worry about that. But play speed control on the fader. Then finally we have jog control. So when I press this one, you can see I'm jogging forth and back with the keys in the signal. All right, in the video feed, I'm jogging forth and back. So that's more or less the, the controls, all the basic controls of the KI Pro clip selection, showing time code, starting uh, recording. Oh, by the way, starting recording happens right there on this button. Uh, playback, playback speed, jogging forth and back on a mini fly. The quick bar over here, just a few words about that. If we swap these two panels around, let's see what this one does. It has a menu which um, gives me access to sort of the same things. You can see this is toggling between seeing the uh, clip selector name, clip name, ultra, uh, the time code, and also here we have stop and record. If I go up again, then you see uh, playback control, like play the clip. Um, uh, you see I have um, yeah access to, to uh, increased speeds, fast forward, fast backwards. I can do the jog that we just discovered doing on this one. And in fact, these two panels are working totally in sync. So I could sit with one panel and go immediately to the other one. They are both talking to the KI Pro simultaneously. And that is very typical how we do it at Skahoy. We, we allow you, if the, if, if the devices 
supports it. We allow you to, to connect multiple controllers and they will pull the state out of the controllers they're connected to and show. So they, they don't know about each other. They are not aware that two panels are in fact working with this one. And that's exactly how it should be and how we aim for quality in our integrations. Thank you.